let's continue with the global opportunities around the world. And we are still in the diversity visa lottery. The biggest requirement for people to know is about the diversity visa photo. This is one among the biggest filter in the diversity system. There are some people are going to be denied their application right away because of the photo. When you apply, application submitted, then there is a first filter. The first filter will take out people who have done duplicate application, more than one, and the people who have made mistakes on their photos. They are going to be dropped. And then the qualified entries will be going to the pool for the selection. So, here I'm holding the photo of my son, Benedict, who is just 11 years old. This photo doesn't qualify. Majority of people, especially in Africa, when they take the passport photo, has a blue background or they have red background. The American visas and passports are requiring people to have a white background. So you must have a white background. So if your photo doesn't have a white background, you don't qualify. You application will go through, but it will be eliminated. If you wear glasses like this way, you will be eliminated. From 2018, 2019, they removed the requirement for people to wear glasses. So you are not allowed to wear glasses. White background, no glasses. Don't look on the side. You have to look straight to the camera. The weight of the photo, the photo must be digital. The weight of the photo, the size of the photo must be 600. Um, the weight of the photo must be 240 kilobytes, not exceeding 240 kilobytes. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 15, 50, whatever. Any number, but if it is exceeding 240 kilobytes, they will tell you that one, the size of the weight is too, is more or is exceeding the required weight. The pixels of the photo must be 600 times 600 pixels. Uh, and you can do by yourself or you can go to the photo studio, they can be able to do that. When you take the photo, don't print out, just do a digital editing from there there are so many questions about that can i use a phone can i use a tablet or i must use a camera for me it doesn't matter what type of device you are using rather the quality of the device you are using for instance if you are using a camera of 500 dollar and someone else uses an iphone 13 pro max the iphone 13 pro max or the best samsung might have the better camera than your normal camera system. So the point is not about using the device as a phone, rather the quality you are going to provide. So the easiest way I tell people, take a photo like a half, whether it's a phone, don't be too close to the person, leave a space above your head, leave the space on the side, so that when you are, you are going to take the editing to reduce the size, will be able to fit. Those will be able to help you. There are other smaller things people want to know. You don't need to wear any type of hat. Don't wear any uniform. You are not allowed to wear those. Unless otherwise is for the religious purposes. If you wear hijab, make sure it is hijab for the religious. That means you are wearing the hijab every single day. Not you are, wear, you are wearing hijab on Friday and the other days you are just going to the club or you're going to the beach with a bikini. No, they want you, if you're wearing hijab, that is your lifestyle as a religious uh, reasoning. So, and if you wear hijab, don't wear the back of the one it closes, leave the eyes. It has to be this way, the one which is normal hijab. Can you do makeup? Yes and no. But don't do makeup completely change yourself. Just be normal photo. Can you wear earrings? You can, but don't. I advise you. And I advise, advise people, this is not a requirement. Don't wear white shirt, white dress, white gown. Because sometimes this is white and the background is white. It doesn't look good. So wear different colors. That helps a lot. Another thing, don't start smiling, putting the peace sign. 
turn out no don't do those kind of things because those one will make it difficult for you to qualify and if this is the photo i'm giving an example but when you upload you upload it this way not the straight portrait you upload it this way you're also going to be disqualified on that basis so there are so many requirements on the photo make sure you follow all the requirements majority of people are disqualified just because of the photo so don't be one among the people and when you say the photo the photo of the main applicant the photo if you are married your spouse and the photo for each child you have you must have their photo like the main applicant meet the requirement of the main applicant